Hello friends, welcome to the session. Today we'll see how to create event hubs in Azure Event Hubs namespace. You can watch my previous video on how to create event hubs namespace. You can see this event hub using Postman. This is the namespace which we created in that video. And now we'll create event hubs, which is equivalent to topics inside this namespace. So we'll go to event hub and you can see there are no event hub right now. So let's open up Postman and we'll write some requests to create event hub using REST API. So we'll create a collection first. I will import one because I have already created one and I will share that same in the description of this video. So here is the collection with requests like get access token and then we'll create an event hub and some other operations. Now to run these requests, we also need environment and we'll import that one as well. So here is the environment imported and these are the variables which will pass through so let's fill in these values if you want to know how to get these values please watch my previous video where i have explained in detail when we created event hubs namespace so i have entered the required values here we'll save it and we'll go back to the collection we click on get access token and we'll apply the environment on it and you can see the request is for oas2 token in the body we are passing the same four variables and we'll send this request we received the token value here in the tests we are parsing the body and setting it to access token which you can see in environment as well access token is set now we'll send a request to create the event hub the top so this is the url which will be used subscription id resource code name event hub namespace which we created and this will be the event hub name which we'll create now inside that namespace under the body we'll provide the request in json format with the name of the event hub and some properties like partition count message retention in days you can add some more properties uh, go through the microsoft documentation and then build up on that let's send this request you see status code 200 so the request was successful now let's go back to portal and refresh to check whether event hub is created or not so here you see test event hub topic it's created with message retention day as one and partition count two now going back to postman you can run get event hub request again it's the same similar request subscription id resource group name your namespace name and the event hub name and when you send it it will give you details of the event hub which is created next one is list the event hub by namespace so in this request you mention only the namespace and all the event hubs created in there will be listed so because we have only one so it shows up here now if you want to update event hub properties then use this put request with similar url but in the body we can change the properties say i want to update message retention in days to two initially when i sent this request it had one so we'll run this request again and the request is successful status code is 200 we'll go back to portal to check event hubs and message retention is it two days now come back to postman and you can delete this event hub using this url passing the event hub name same and status code is 200 so the event hub will be deleted in a couple of minutes so it's gone so you can see it is easy to create event hub using rest apis and in the next session we'll see how you can send messages to this event hub and then consumers can consume them see you in next session thank you